G'day, I'm back in Malaysia and I'm feeling pretty sick. I'm stuck in bed for the next three days with a fever with the flu. It's not a bad view though. And that gave me the idea to talk about my experience with healthcare here in Malaysia and particularly compare it to my experiences with healthcare in Australia. I think a lot of people have the misconception that Western countries have great healthcare and all these other benefits while countries like Malaysia are lower tier. It's not true. And I'm going to tell you my experience in this video across three sections. First, the GP, the general practitioner, the everyday doctor, specialist. I've consulted a specialist doctor in a hospital twice while I've been here in Malaysia over the last two years. And the experience has been amazing and very different to Australia. Third, I'll briefly discuss the insurance situation from what I understand and compare it to the experience again I had in Australia. So this video is targeted to foreigners who are interested in moving, living or working in Malaysia, just like me. I'm an Aussie expat and I moved to Kuala Lumpur two years ago. And on this channel, I share my travel insights with you. So let's get into the video. First is GPs, general practitioners. This is your everyday family doctor that you go to whenever you have something wrong. In Malaysia, there are plenty of GPs and they're easy to find in your insurance app. You just book in, you show up, and usually you don't even have to wait. I went last night at 11 p.m., no line straight in to see the doctor. In general, I see a GP maybe once every three months, hopefully less, and every single time bar maybe one, there's been no line and I've been able to see the doctor very quickly. This is very different to Australia where usually you have to wait quite a long time to see a doctor. Even if you make an appointment, they don't stick to the schedule. Recently, I was on the Gold Coast over Christmas, there was a storm, and I was trying to see a doctor for a suspected hernia. I think we spent about four or five hours waiting in the medical center with 100 people ahead of me, even getting there at 9 a.m. just to see a simple doctor and get a scan. So a very different experience in Malaysia. I would say the GPs are definitely much more accessible. The next major difference with GPs is how they serve you. Now there's good and bad. You can tell the difference in quality or attention to detail. Typically the doctors here will ask you only a few questions and simply prescribe medication, which is generally actually what you want for most things. I have the flu. I just wanted to know what it was, get the medication and get out of there. The doctor did just that. In Australia, sometimes the consultations run for a very long time. You get a single prescription. They send you off to a pharmacy. You have to wait in a line at the pharmacy and then you have to pay for the medication even if you have private health insurance. Whereas in Malaysia, the GPs here act as a dispensary. You don't have to go to a separate pharmacy. You can get the medications right there in the GP from the doctor or their assistant. Now, in my particular case, it was quite interesting last night because the doctor prescribed me with about five different medications, which would never happen in Australia. You'd probably get one and also be recommended paracetamol to buy on your own. But this doctor just gave me the lot. I got about five medications from them. Here we go. You can see them all here and it's all covered in the fee. There's zero cost that comes under the insurance. Even if you don't have insurance, it's also much more affordable. I'll also put up the price list of other services that these GPs and doctors offer so you can get a sense of the local pricing if you were just to pay for it, if you didn't have all inclusive insurance. For foreigners or other people looking to visit or travel to Malaysia, it is very affordable and healthcare, bar some major emergency, is probably not something you need to worry about. You should probably still get insurance, but if you don't, you'll probably be okay. You should be able to cover the cost. Whereas in Australia or the US particularly, if something happened to you and you didn't have insurance or you didn't have help, you might be screwed. The so GPs in Malaysia are efficient to the point and they save you a lot of time because they prescribe and give you everything within the GP itself. So you don't have to go to a pharmacy or wait longer. Number two, specialist doctors. This is what surprised me the most when I first moved here. In Australia, if you wanna see a specialist doctor, an orthopedic, something like that, it's gonna take you weeks, if not months, to book an appointment with them. I never understood why it was so complicated and ridiculous. And then when you finally did meet them, even if you had private health insurance, it would cost you a few hundred dollars on top of that as the bill. So I've had some very expensive and stressful journeys with specialist doctors in Australia. Now in Malaysia, the experience could not be any more different. Specialist doctors are everywhere and they're not lower quality. These doctors are studying in Australian, UK, US universities. They've come back to Malaysia and they're practicing here. They are very friendly, well-spoken and in no way worse than specialists or surgeons you would see in Western countries. That's why there's a lot of medical tourism in Southeast Asia and Malaysia certainly is not cutting on quality. It's the quality and more. It's just a much more efficient system to back it up. Now let's talk about specific examples. Typically in Australia, if you need to get a scan or other tests done, 
done, you'll be referred to another specialist or another radiology department where it'll cost you more money. You'll need to book in for a scan and you'll need to go at a specific time at a future date. So overall, it's a lot of fuss, even if you have private health insurance. Now you might ask, well, why don't you just use the public health system, Medicare? Well, even though it takes up taxes and a lot of money goes into health in Australia, it's not being used efficiently because you're just gonna be waiting for months. Now let's compare that with my experience in Malaysia. I've had to go to a specialist here two or three times. It's usually the orthopedic surgeon to get an opinion on joint injuries I pick up at the gym or while I'm doing physical activity. So I've done my knees, I've done my shoulder. Now to go see this specialist, you just rock up at the orthopedic hospital. There's one near me called Alti Orthopedic and it's amazing. You show up, you show them your app, with the insurance and you get to see the specialist pretty much straight away. When I saw the specialist, he was very friendly and he sent me to get an MRI instantly. So I went down in the same building, got the MRI and then when that was done, they sent it straight back to the specialist. I went straight back to the specialist. I didn't need to book in for another appointment weeks in advance. I got feedback from him and we were able to diagnose and go from there. It only took a few hours. And the best part of all of that is that it was completely free. It was completely covered by the insurance, so it cost me zero. The same process in Australia would have taken weeks, if not months, and it would have cost a few hundred dollars minimum on top of the monthly payments for the private health insurance. That's ignoring the public system, which you're also paying taxes towards as well. Now you might ask, what about the hospitals? I haven't had to stay in a hospital, thankfully, overnight here in Malaysia, but my partner has, so I know a little bit about the experience. In Australia, I have had to stay overnight in a hospital three times. I had both my hips done as an operation as well as my sinuses. Now, even if you're paying for the private health insurance, typically that will only cover the hospital accommodation fee. It doesn't cover the surgery and the surgeon fees itself. So those operations easily cost me thousands of dollars each, and you have to pay for the anesthetist and other medications separately as well on top of the insurance on top of the hospital fee on top of the operation fee so it ends up being an expensive exchange and the only other alternative is to wait for medicare but again that could take up to a year to slot you in and you get no choice over where you want to go and what surgeon you want to get so it's not an ideal system in malaysia she was admitted whenever she wanted you could pretty much choose from the surgeon's schedule got a private room stayed there for two nights and the beautiful thing is that the whole thing cost essentially zero because again it was fully covered by private health insurance in my opinion this is what private health insurance should be and malaysia has got it right let's talk about insurance because it's a must. I wouldn't recommend the public healthcare system when it comes to serious things like operations and hospital visits in Malaysia. So I would definitely recommend if you're a foreigner, if you can afford it as a local, definitely pay for private health insurance. Now in that case, what about my situation? I have AIA health insurance and it's fully covered by work. So I'm not paying for it out of my own pocket. It has been one of the most amazing benefits I've gotten from my workplace because of the reasons I just described. I haven't had to pay a single cent for healthcare since moving to Malaysia for these reasons. But I did have a look at how much it would cost and it's also very interesting. I looked it up and for a single, you can probably expect to pay up to 250 ringgit per month for a high quality standard of care private health insurance in Malaysia. So if we convert that to Aussie dollars, that's about $80 per month. Now in Australia, I was paying about $150 a month for the private health care I just described, which was far worse than the experience I've had here in Malaysia. So when it comes to insurance, I'm very confident you can be covered by the right policy that meets your requirements that will blow you away compared to the Western health system. I hope that helped you. I know this was a hot topic and I'd like to talk about healthcare here much more because it really has been one of the most important benefits I've had while moving to Malaysia over the last two years. My voice is feeling a bit rough, so I'm gonna go have a nap and enjoy this beautiful view. If you have any more questions or even have some unique insights as a local who maybe works in the industry, please comment below. I read them all, I'll respond to you. If you wanna get in touch with me directly, you can check out my Instagram, it's in the description, or my email, which is in my channel details. I hope this video helped you. I'm Jack Alderton, Aussie expat living in Malaysia, sharing my travel and lifestyle insights with you to help you make the most out of life. See you in the next one.